Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper bag uh, cover for your book. First, you will need a brown regular paper bag with the bottom. Um, and then you need some crayons. My brother's dancing. Uh, you'll need a pencil and some scissors. Turn that down. Turn it down. Alright, so first oh darn it. I get another pencil sometimes. Um, if Sarah Plain and Tall, if you ever turn that down. If you've ever uh watched or um heard the book Sarah Plain and Tall, um just well first step. First step, make your bag like this. Um then the second step where the little line is right in the side, either side, um, in the little line right here, um, cut down that line. So I cut down that line right there. Oh. Doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think it has to be down that line exactly. It's okay if you can't cut down the line exactly. Anyways, so when you've done that, it should look like this. Um, so, um, on the bottom, take, uh, you'll need to do the bottom, so take your scissors, cut from right there, start from right there, and then just cut off the bottom. Off those little lines back sides of the lines, which I dropped in my bag. Alright, so, let's see, let's see, um, When you have to cut that off, it should look like this. Cut off the little, on the little side pieces and everything. Side pieces, little, just little pieces. My brother's playing a uh, uh, video game, so don't even mind that. Alright, um, so she, you should have a little book cover here. So yeah, um, after you have done that, if you want it just like this, or you can crumble it up. Alright, what you do, and you crumble it up. Just wad it up in a ball. Just wad it up in a ball. And then unwad it. But be careful not to rip it. It should look old and baggy because it was from like a long time ago. When it's crunchy, it's not ready. When it's not crunchy, it feels like leather, it's ready. Keep on doing that until it feels like leather and it's not crunchy. See, it's crunchy.
We put a little bit of crunchy. Alright, so when you've got it completely done, it should look like this. Look like that. Um, so, and then what you're going to do, you're going to get notebook pieces of paper. So you'll need notebook pieces of paper. So I'm going to cover them up. when you uh you need three pieces of notebook paper and what you're gonna do you're gonna pick up your scissors you're going to cut them in the middle there cut them in the middle once you have done that uh you should have two of these so, and then the other one, just do it again, same thing. Should be like that. And then she should have eight, you should have ten in all. Wait. You should have eight in all. Alright. So, eight pieces of paper. Um, you're going to stack them up with the holes like this. Wait, no. Take the holes off. So, gra grab your scissors. Take the holes off. Like, cut it like right there. Right there. And you'll have these little left over. And it should, sh they should look like this. about my brother. He's just playing. Uh, so once you've all got those all done, get your thing. It should be like, just fold it. Kind of like that. And stack your papers up. Hold on. Stack your papers up. Wait. Yeah. Stack your papers up. Okay. 
Just get them together. And I like this. Two more. Yeah. Sorry guys, this is a long video, but uh Yeah, but it's fine. This one doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. Alright, so once you have your paper stack up, just put them in there where the fold is, and just get them like this. Get the stapler, and then just staple where the pieces of paper come together. So when it's stapled, when it's stapled, it should look like this. It should look like this, and um, paper should be inside like that. Um, and what you're gonna do? You're gonna get your pencil. Hold on. Alright, so you're going to get your pencil. I just chose this one. Um, and on the front, you're going to write it big and bad. Sarah Plain and Tall. Sarah Plain and Tall. 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 Sarah Plain and Tall. Oh. Yeah. And then, uh, if you want to do marker, you're going to uh, have to unfold it where the paper is it and just color over it. You can color over the words when you're done. Uh, but at the bottom, you're going to put Mace, well, your name, and your, lo your first and your last name, and, um, like, whoever is in the story so far, Papa... Anna and Caleb, so you're going to choose one of those, Macy P, Macy T, I am Anna, that's who I am in school, I am Anna, I am Anna, oh wait, can't do an explanation mark, and you can erase some paper bags. I am Anna. So yeah, um, then what you're gonna do? I think I can do over 15 minutes. If I couldn't, I just waited my time. Um, uh, open your crayons, crayons galore. Um, pick out any color you like. I'm gonna choose yellow and just color. Color as much as you want. Anything. But anyways, so, what you're going to do at the beginning, you're going to write uh, what you feel about Caleb when he, was a, when he was a baby and everything. So yeah, the mother's death and the letter of Sarah. Bye.